Throughout human history, there have been a number of people who reached extreme old age. Ramses II, Queen Elizabeth II, Jimmy Carter, and Henry Kissinger are all famed for being very old. But this got me thinking, if there is a list of the oldest people in history, then could the inverse also be true? Could there be such a thing as a youngest person in recorded history? And the answer to this question is surprisingly intricate, and it took me down a rabbit hole I could have never anticipated. When you ask someone who the youngest person they know is, they typically come up with responses like Tom Holland or Billie Eilish. If you specify that they're allowed to come up with people from history, then you're most likely to get results that aren't too far off. People like Charles Lindbergh, David Copperfield, and Aaron Copeland are common answers. But as you'd imagine, there are a number of people in the historical record who reached ages even beneath these. In the 20th century alone, there are two major candidates who stand out as outliers among their peers. The first being Xavier de Gaulle, the older brother of Charles de Gaulle. In the year 1907, he was only 17 years old. Now that's impressive in its own right, but what most people don't know is that Charles de Gaulle himself was only 15 years old at the time. That's about the lifespan of an American goat. Now I know what you're thinking. 15 years old? That sounds a lot like science fiction to me. There's no way that anyone could be younger than that. But you'd be mistaken, because the next youngest person in history goes all the way back to 494 AD. That's where we meet soon-to-be Emperor Justinian I. In the year 494, he was only 12 years old. That's about one and two-fifths times as long as the American War of Independence. But to be honest, I wasn't that surprised when I found out about this guy. There's all kinds of records set by the human body that sound extraordinary, until you realize just how many people there have been. Like the guy who was 8 foot 11, or the woman who weighed 4.7 pounds. It's at this point where it becomes somewhat difficult to take this information at face value, and there is some potential for historical legend to dilute facts from stories that are mostly apocryphal in nature. Take, for instance, the next youngest person in all of history, Queen Dowager Zhao of the Qin Dynasty. Born in 228 BC, by 236 she was a groundbreaking 8 years old. To tell you the truth, I wish this was the end of it. To go further beyond this point just feels perverse, like there's some unwritten rule that's being broken. But ultimately, there is a single answer to the question, who is the youngest person in history? And to find them, you'll have to go back even further, before the days of Alexander Graham Bell or even George Washington. Indeed, we're going to have to go all the way back to ancient Egypt, the first group of people that there ever was. It is here that we find extensive records of very young people existing. 14-year-olds, 13-year-olds, and even 12-year-olds were commonly described as though it was no big deal. It is here that we can conclude with the single youngest person there ever was. Sadie I, the second pharaoh of the 19th dynasty during the New Kingdom period, was estimated to have been a whopping three years old in the year 1241 BC. Can you believe it? That a relatively obscure historical figure most people haven't heard of turns out to have been the youngest person in history. Admittedly, like the majority of the people on this list, he did not hold the title forever, but it's still an impressive feat nonetheless. Who knows how long this record may last? Perhaps some youngster from Generation Alpha will be the first one to beat it. You'll just have to wait and see.